What's going on, ladies and gents? Dalibu here for T3G. Welcome to another... Well, no. This is the first one now, isn't it? Welcome to our new show. This is App Review. Uh, still don't have a name for it. App Review Wednesday, App Wednesday. We'll see what we can come up with. Today, we're going to talk about an app that we talked about on Monday. Uh, we're going to talk about HitFilm Express. Now, this is the home screen currently. The home screen changes, they actually, they spotlight different things. They spotlight different tutorials and things like that. For instance, this force ghost effect. Very cool because often they show you how to use the program with and without the pro version. So that's super, super cool. But the biggest reason we're talking about it is because this is a free, free software. This is a free video editing software. And we're gonna get into some of the details and some of the features in just a moment. All right, hopefully that recorded properly. I'm, I'm not used to this, so we'll see how it goes. Now, I wanna show you guys what this program is capable of. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch over to their, hold on, let me switch over here. We're gonna switch over to their actual website. All right, so I'm gonna mute my mic and we're gonna, we're gonna hit play. This is a video that was created with this software. All right, so that is their soft. That that is their video they have created to kind of spotlight this uh, this software and what it can do and what its capabilities are, and that is everything within the same software. So the HitFilm platform is kind of a blend of. Adobe Premiere and Adobe After Effects. You can actually do CG as well as uh, utilize the actual editing. Uh, I'm gonna be mainly talking about editing just because I really haven't played around with the the, the effects portion of it. Uh, I've done, I think, maybe one thing in After Effects, uh, so I'm not even gonna begin to try and, and, and show anyone how to use any of the effects features. So as I talked about on Monday, uh, from the home screen, you actually hit the new button, you're gonna have all your format options. You're, you can set up for Instagram, which is really cool. Vine is an option still, even though Vine is not really a thing anymore. And subsequently, you can do custom and then you can adjust any of these features. I'm gonna go with just a basic 1080, 30 frames per second. I'm not playing around with anything really fancy. We're gonna hit start editing. Compositing is where you're gonna come into the effects stuff, but we're just gonna go with editing. Uh, you're gonna get what, if you have any experience with Premiere, what looks like a very familiar layout. Uh, you've got your media, you've got your effects, your effect controls, history, so when at any time you do something, it's gonna be in here and you can go back very easily. Uh, text features, so you can add text layers to the project, and a trimmer, and that's gonna be for when you actually have a file that you wanna edit and adjust. You can change the layout of this entirely, as you saw on Monday, mine, my 
main one is actually set up a little differently. I have used it a few times to actually edit. I like my media browser next to my timeline, but that's just a matter of preference. I'm actually, just for, for this, I'm gonna scroll up on this a little bit. Uh, I'm gonna hit media and I'll drop it next to, okay. Boom, right there. So my media is gonna be here. You've got a couple different ways to actually import stuff. You can double click into the media field. You can click on import or you can just drag and drop. I'm gonna drag and drop. I've got my, my folders open over here already. All right, so we're gonna just drag these in. I'm grabbing just a few random clips. So now that you've got your footage in the actual media viewer, you you can import to the timeline, drag and drop, pretty straightforward. Uh, you can edit on the timeline, or as I mentioned earlier, there is the trimmer, and you can edit in, in the trimmer itself. Uh, you can set in points and out points. So let's say that's gonna be an in point. We're gonna go over here out point and then when you import when you insert this into the timeline it's just going to be that section this is nice when you're editing a lot of clips but again this is stuff that you get into and you learn as you go with actual editing uh, this is just a great great software alternative for premiere specifically because so much of it works just like premiere if you want to drop an effect let's say let's say we want to do some color grading on this right so we're going to do we're going to do a we're gonna do two strip color, boom, we're gonna drop it on here. And under here you have your, look at this, look at this, brightness, saturation. Let's say let's brighten it up a little bit. Let's let's uh, drop the darks down, boom. What's this look like? Look at this, look, look at the difference here. Obviously, that's just me playing around. That's not actually affecting anything. Uh, realistically, it's not real real editing. This is a little, this is a little harsh. But let's say if we want to have a little more faded look, we pull it up a little bit, drop down the saturation. Look at that. Now we've got like this classic old faded look of these classic cars. You've got a ton of different stuff that you can mess with. You can filter things out. You can punch up greens punch down reds, whatever you need to do. Again, very, very similar in terms of editing and usage as uh, Premiere. You've got your audio meter. It's it's by default in the bottom right, which is actually where I like it. That's why I have mine to the right of my timeline in Premiere. Uh, so I like that a lot. Uh, you have, there are 3D features in Pro. Uh, in Pro, you also do have some additional file format supports. Uh, looking at the actual, let's, over, let's go ahead and switch over to the display. Uh, looking at the formats i'm gonna cut the vi window uh it supports a ton of different stuff so you have mp4 h264 uh you've got a ton of different uh media formats so those are just included uh for quicktime so mov support you are going to need quicktime inst installed and then for avc hd you would need HitFilm Pro or the premium format. So that's the other nice thing about this is you don't have to buy the full Pro. If you just say, hey, I like all the features in Express, but I just want, I really want ABC HD, you go into premium formats, you can just buy the premium formats for eight bucks right now, 10 bucks normally. And you can add a bunch of different stuff. You can add colorists, you can add repair packs. So you, if you don't get perfect footage, it's gonna be repaired. Uh, there's just, there, I mean, this is all just the packs that are just, super quick um there's a starter pack which what does this what does this give you it gives you extrusion it gives you different color wheels like there's a ton of different stuff so for eight bucks you can expand what you can do in your free software it's pretty nice i'm not gonna lie there's there's just a ton of features for what you get especially again for free for zero dollars uh will your computer run that's, a, that's another fun question uh because realistically it's free software like how much power do you need behind it not a ton, not a ton. Four gig, I don't, I would never, ever, ever tell you to run four gigs of RAM. I would always tell you to run eight, if possible, 16. 16 is always going to be helpful, especially when you're dealing with video, especially when you're dealing with multitasking. You're going to be running multitasking because you're running video, you're running audio, you're importing video, you're importing audio, you're doing a ton of different stuff. Definitely run as much RAM as possible. But as far as your processor, i3 or better. Like, that's not bad. That's not bad. Graphics, 400 series GeForce, HD 6000 series. Uh, so actually, I couldn't run it on on the uh, the, the workstation over there because it's still running a 5550. Uh, need to upgrade that ASAP. 
and uh, Intel Graphics 4000. So if you don't even have a standalone graphics card, but if you've got at least one gig or two gig, if you wanna use 4K video, uh, memory dedicated to your Intel HD graphics, easy. You can still do this. You can still use the software. The great thing about the software is that they seem to be genuinely interested in helping people do this stuff at a low or no cost because there's tons of free resources that they offer. So looking from the home page, you've got automatic, right? As soon as you launch the software, you've got how to's, you've got, I mean, how to use the puppet tool, how to clone your actors. So this is kind of how to Lego style transit. That's cool. I'm going to watch that later. That sounds awesome. Hey guys, so they've got a full history. channel that is dedicated to this stuff and it's going to, this is edge. I don't know why it does this. Oh, you guys can't see that. I switched to the window again. So they've got a YouTube channel that has, let's take a look. Let's take a look at how many videos they they've got. Uh, just off of a couple scrolls here. We're still loading. There's tons of different stuff. They've made a ton of cool movies with this, and then they show you how they do all this stuff. So, for instance, the Halo Jump movie that we saw earlier, this is everything from that. Cloning actors, safe skydiving, building a storm, like the full behind the scenes. and It's just really, really cool. There's a ton of resources for this. So, it's not trying to go out there and trying to find, you know, various tutorials, not, not to knock anyone's tutorial channel or whatever. Uh, I've, I've learned a lot of great stuff from tutorial videos for Premiere, but these guys have a full library of how to do this right out the gate. You don't have to worry about having to learn a new software. They have the step-by-step -step instructions for everything. Although, like I said, again, and I really want to emphasize this, if you have even the slightest experience with Premiere, this is gonna be a cakewalk for you. All your tools are in the left here of the timeline. You can readjust your layout. You know, it, it really, you have everything you want. You can change the quality of your playback up here. Uh, I always go to quarter just because then it's the smoothest playback while I'm playing. I don't really, I, I can see the general gist of my my, my edits and, and color grading and things like that when I do that. In the timeline, you can show, uh, if, you really, if you really want them, you can show the, the video clips, that for me slows down performance, so that's why I had them turned off. Uh, you can also just do them start at the end, so beginning and end clip. Uh, there are people that like that. I personally don't, so I keep that off entirely. Uh, you can change the audio size, so if you have something that has a lot of intricate audio, you can have that showing here. Or if you're not gonna use audio at all, you just drop it down to small if you're not gonna be really messing with it. Or if you have multiple layers and you're just dealing with editing, you're not dealing with intricacies, you can make the timeline very small so that you can stack up and down as much as you want. The other nice thing is because it's a built-in software, you can automatically hit make composite shot, selected clip, and we're just gonna go into now creating effects we're going to go into keyframing we're going to go into all that kind of stuff look at this tracks masks effects transforms uh i mean let's sh let's just hit a, 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 a anchor here let's go all the way out to here and then we're going to change we're just going to have it do this boom super easy we're, we're going to play back and that's it that's all it took there, there was no jumping into another panel there was nothing it just does its thing and you can mask it you can do whatever you need to do and it's all in the same software it's all in the same it's all in the same tool and it's just really really nice I, i'm a big big fan of the software i'm gonna be grabbing a uh, macbook soon but even then i'm probably gonna try out hit film just to not have to deal with final cut because like i know this i don't really know final cut we did one video on final cut and i hated every minute of that editing process genuinely honestly hated it i'm probably gonna do this instead of that just so i can keep my interface so i can keep my my style of editing without having to learn a whole new stack of different tools and different interfaces everything is different in final cut and i hate it Whereas this is a nice transition. So if I need something on a computer that doesn't have Premiere installed, like, I mean, I've got a, I've got a Creative Cloud license that's only limited to two computers. So I can put this on two more computers for free. My wife's got this on her computer. This is how she edits her videos for her fitness stuff. But that's gonna be it for this one, folks. Hope you enjoyed this kind of video. We're gonna be doing some more deep dives into software. Uh, next week, we're gonna be doing a Photoshop alternative. We're gonna be doing desktop applications we're gonna be doing windows applications mac applications we're gonna be doing ios apps we're gonna be doing android apps i'm probably gonna even dive into some linux stuff because 
if you want to start a channel that you have enough to buy your hardware but you don't have that extra hundred bucks ubuntu is free and there's free editing software that you can use inside ubuntu we explore all sorts of budget options here on T3G. Thank you guys for joining us in the new year on this new show and on the new stuff that's going to be coming out. This Sunday, look for an update video, but of course Friday we are going to have a gaming video. It's going to be a little different. We're not doing playthroughs. Playthroughs are going to be moving to Twitch. So check out twitch.tv slash T3G gaming. And of course, come back here Friday for a gaming video. And Sunday is going to be an update video that's going to kind of give you an overview of what we're going to be doing here coming up this year. Thank you for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.